What's up, guys? What's up? What's going on? Johnny Calvin Bright here, and uh, this is part two. Get back. Get back. This is part two to the video um, that I was just that I just released about how our awareness comes from birth and how we are only as aware as we were programmed to be in this moment right now. Only if that's only if if you've done the work and if you figured it out for yourself why you aren't getting the results that you desire to get in life. So I feel like this one's a very, very passionate conversation because for a lot of us out there, including myself, we want to get better results in our life. We want to have more in life. And, you know, it's a constant struggle of like, why am I working so damn hard? And how come I'm not getting, you know, the results that I want? Like, how come I'm not, I'm not getting further down the road as, I, as I'd like to? And it's because... It's the way we're programmed, right? To just do things without even thinking about it. You know, sub unconsciously doing things without even thinking about it. So this talk, I want to just talk a bit about my struggles with this whole uh, uh, topic and what I've been doing to to better myself, right? And, I, and, and, you know, I hope that, you know, my trials and tribulations can speak to what you're going through. Um, and I hope that, you know, you can find some solutions within your own life. So I was when I was talking to my friend Tracy earlier, I was talking about how I remember there was this one time when I went to school and, you know, as a little kid, I stole some money from one of my classmates. Now, I thought back to myself and I got in trouble for that. You know, I got in trouble for it. I got, you know, spanking for it and everything. So a spanking like an ass, an ass whipping. Right. Um, so I thought I thought to myself, you know, because I've been studying about this, you know, I've been looking into like why we do the things that we do. Why do we behave the way we behave? Um, human behavior, right? I've been studying myself. Um, and I thought to myself, why did I do that? You know, um, I had lunch, you know, like I had lunch. <laughs> um, you know, I had food available to me. Backpack, shoes, clothes, a ride to and from school. Why did I do that? And I thought to myself, well, you know, I grew up in a house of six uh, of five other siblings, you know, so six total. There's three, um, there's three of me, or three of, of uh, us born from my parents, and then there was three cousins that we had. So it was six of us total. So I was asking myself, why did I do that? Why did I steal my classmates' money? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys why. It's because when I was growing up, anytime we got something in the house, whether if it was like candy, or like Pop-Tarts, or like cereal, like the, like the most simplest things, right? Cookies. I would automatically think, I, program, I, I, I would automatically think that if I don't hurry up and get some, we're gonna run out and it's gonna be gone. I'm gonna miss out. And so, when I was at school that one day and I, and I, stole, my classmate, my, I stole my classmates money, it was because I, I at, at a young age already, I had started to, to act on the fact that I, I, was, I was living from a place of um, scarcity. And I was living from a place of uh, fear, knowing that if I didn't get this, and, and, and in this case, the material thing was money. If I didn't get this, then it'd run out. Or I was really thinking like, you know, I want to I, I wanna have this because I don't have it. And I just want to have something of my own because I never have it. You know, every time I ask my mom or dad for, you know, money for the ice cream truck or just for anything, you know, if we can order some pizza or whatever, um, they wouldn't have it. Or I was afraid of them saying no. So, so you know, I was thinking to myself, wow, like that's probably why I did that. Because at the time, I didn't understand why I did that. You know, I was actually a good kid. Um, you know, I wasn't bad, I wasn't into like, you know, uh, I wasn't into like, uh, gangs or cursing at teachers and all that, I wasn't into doing nothing crazy like that, I was actually a pretty good kid, but I was thinking to myself, why the hell did I do that, you know, and I think what I really want to leave you guys with is this, is that your, your gold, you're going to find the gold of who you are and how you could, uh, self-correct your, 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 your behaviors. You're going to find the gold in the beginning years of your life because in those years, that's the person who has been created and, you know, it's led all the way up to this point in your life of adulthood. And you don't realize it because you do a lot of things unconsciously without even thinking about it because that's the person who was created years and years ago. And so as we are habitual human beings, 
um, what happened back then has continued and the things that you did back then they've only gotten easier and easier and easier for you to do hence your habits so that's why we're not getting the results that we that we want to get does that make sense I hope it does <laughs> All right, so um, that's my share. All right, guys, and uh, if you found some value from this, if you connected to this, just let me know. All right, I'm being extremely open and honest with you guys about you know transformation, personal development. Okay, and I just want to hear some feedback from you guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, and um, you know, leave me a comment, thumbs up, likes, and all that good stuff. And if you are someone, if you're watching this video, and if you are someone who is looking for a vehicle to get out of the the old nine to five type you know uh, grind and you're looking for other opportunities to earn multiple streams of income there's gonna be some links right below this video that you can click on and um, get access to some trainings to teach you how you can join the Academy by submitting a risk -free, a risk free application to sign up to start your trainings so that's all I got for right now guys um, I love to speak with you soon. Until then, cheers guys.